Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to make this um, frisbee that can then transform into an eight pointed star. And it's really cool. And it's super duper easy to make once you get the hang of it. So I will try and go in great details, but if you don't understand, then just look it up on YouTube and there are better details than puppy I am. So this is what it will look like when it's transformed. So. It won't look like this when you're done. It'll look like a frisbee. Like, I'll show you what it looks like when you're done. So, yeah. And you only need two to three things. And this is what it will look like when it's done. That's what it will look like when it's done. So, let's get started with the materials you will need. You will be needing... Two pieces of printer paper. Um, mine is eight and a half by eleven inches, so that's what I'm using. <clears throat> then you will need one pair of scissors, and if you don't um, want to use printer paper and you have like colored construction paper, go ahead and use that. So then you need a pair of scissors, and that's pretty much it. And the ability to fold stuff, because you'll be doing a lot of that in this video or this tutorial. So, the first thing that you're going to want to do, and I'm going to try and point the camera down. Ah! The camera fell over. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to get the camera at a good angle so you guys can see what I'm doing. Sorry about that. Okay, so you can still see me, and you can see what I'm doing. So you're going to want to take both of your... Oh, no, my paper got wet. Ah, it's wet there. Okay. So, you're going to want to take both of your papers, put them right on top of each other. And you want to make sure that they're really straight, so, like that. Then, you're going to want to take a top corner and fold it down. So, it should look like this. And then, so, like, you understand what I'm doing? So, just taking this top corner and folding it down till it meets the bottom. And then you want to make sure that this is really on point, because if it's not, it will not work right. And just crease. Then you should have a triangle and then a rectangle. You're going to want to cut this um, rectangle off with a pair of scissors. And I just want to make a disclaimer right now, um, before anybody asks me, um, this is not going to turn into a origami channel. It's just that I just want to do some different stuff besides some slime. Because lots of people are telling me, oh, you should do other stuff besides slime. So that's what I'm doing. So then you should have a triangle piece that kind of looks like this. And, um, oh, and I forgot to mention that you will definitely need two pieces of paper. So yeah, then just take them apart and I should both have a line going through it. I'm going to turn on the light. Okay. Then you're going to want to take your paper, one piece of paper, set the other one aside, and fold the top all the way down to the bottom. And crease. Make sure that it's really precise or it may not come out good. And crease. So then you should have it folded in half with a diagonal line going from one corner to the top. On both sides it is like that. Then you're going to want to open that up. Now if you don't have scissors, um, which you should have scissors, you can um, cut your paper like just by folding it back and forth, which is pretty cool. So you just fold it back and forth and it should um, rip by itself and I will show you. So I'm just folding it back and forth, increasing it every time.
And this is very easy to learn. It's super duper fun. And it's super cool just to bring to school and show everybody. And just keep doing this until you feel like you've done it um, enough times. Okay. Then, um, it may or may not work the first time. Okay, so it's not ready for me. So I'll just keep folding it back and forth. And you should be able to pull the pieces of paper apart without, like, anything happening. It should be, like, a nice straight line. And a shout-out of the day goes to, let's see. Um, some of these people may not have channels, but they may be watching this, so they may want a shout-out. So the shout-out of the day goes to Brianna. I don't know if you watch my channel, but she's the kid that goes to my school. So Yeah, I'm probably going to be shouting out a lot of people. Um, I'm probably going to shout-out one person in every single video. So... If you guys want a better chance of getting shouted out, just comment down below, Slime Squad, and you'll get a shout out in my next video, or my future videos, because, yeah. And if you comment down below, Slime Squad, in every video, then you'll get a shout out in every single video. And another um, shout out slash reward goes to Rosen for being a great YouTube friend to me. So now we're going to try and rip it. Okay, so you see how it's like you just pull it apart. So I'm just pulling it like that and it's ripping right now. So then you should have two rectangles. Then you're going to want to fold these in half. But not like this, the um, like this. So then when you fold it, it's a square. So make sure that you do that and not the long way. So like the shorter way. So left to right. Or right to left, depending on where you want to fold it. Okay, so left to right or right to left. Then crease really well. And I'm just going to do the same thing to this whole piece of paper. And to the other piece of paper, I'll use scissors. So I'll be back when I make all these pieces of papers into squares. And I just want to show you once again that um, how to... Um, Cut a piece of paper without a pair of scissors. You just fold it back and forth a couple of times, creasing it every single time, and eventually it'll just fall off. So, yeah, guys. Alrighty, guys. So, I made all the pieces into squares, and right there is a little mistake. So, if you make a mistake, I'll show you how to fix that and how to hide it. So, there should be four squares. So, two and two. And out of the four squares, there should be a diagonal line going down. Out of the four squares, there should be two that has a diagonal line going down. And just um, kind of reinforce that line again. Because it will um, help you out in the outcome. And then, do it the other way. And you want to do that to all four sides. Sorry, I meant all four squares. Sorry guys. Oh no. Okay. So there should be an X going through the paper now. Then do that to all four squares. So reinforce the line or crease that was already there and make a new one that then crosses to be like an X. And the pieces that don't have any um, creases in it, you just want to do it as if um, you did before. So. Just make the X like before. Okay. And this will help you out in the outcome, trust me guys.
After you've gotten an X in all your papers, you're going to want to take it and fold the top to the bottom. So basically in half or right to left. It doesn't really matter. Right to left or top to bottom. But then you're going to want to make sure that they're, um, that you're looking at it like this. So. Do that to all four pieces of paper. After you've gotten that down, you're just going to want to set aside three pieces of paper. Now, if you accidentally got a rip in yours like I did, then here I will show you how to fix that. So you're just going to want to take your paper and fold down the corner so then the side will meet the line. So do you understand, guys? So then like that, do you understand? I'll show you guys in just a minute. Okay, so fold it down until that meet, meets the middle of the corner and crease. Do the same to this side, but not the bottom. Make sure that that, it should look like kind of like a house. And on the side that has a rip, you want to fold it down like that. So then it can conceal it. So then it should look like a house. Then fold in half so the flaps go on the, on the inside. And make sure that this is really pointy at top. And make sure that these match up at the bottom and crease. Now here you should see that the that there's um, lines that were already creased. That's when we made the X. So now you're just going to want to take, um, open it on up. But make sure that you're holding this. So but you're opening that. And push down and in. And it should form like that already. If you don't do the X, then it may be a little bit difficult. So do that process to all um, three. And then I will show you the other paper. The other paper, you're doing the same thing, but I'll just show you when you... So I'm going to pause the video, and I'll be right back when I'm done with all these three. Alright guys, so you may notice when you're folding it down that you may have extra. Just cut that off. You don't need that. You don't want that. So I just finished doing it to all three. Then you're just going, this is where it may become tricky. So you're going to want to take the side, one of them, and take another one. And there should be an opening and a closing end. So you're going to want to take an opened end and take another one and stick the closed end of it. So you see how it's closed? Stick it right in there until it matches up with the end. So do you understand? So it does not want to be there. It doesn't want it to be too, too far below. You want it to be right there. And then there should be extra. You're just going to want to tuck them under and in. And squeeze for one and then do the same to the other side. And squeeze when they're in. So then the, it should hold by itself, you see? And it's already starting to resemble the eight-pointed thing. Then... Um, so I will show you again. So take this. You see how it's closed. Nothing is open. The open side is over here. You're going to want to take it. The um, closed end. Place it right there. Until it lines up. Okay. Push the extra in. On both sides until it should resemble this and squeeze then um, I will show you once more and then I will move on to the next step Oops. take this take the closed end so you see nothing is open Stick it inside the opened end. And you want to make sure that you push it right between the extra flaps. Close. 
push the actual flaps in. And as you can see that I'm not even holding on to the front part and it's already staying. So then you should have something that looks like this. Then let's move on to the other piece of paper. So, you're going to basically do the same thing. But I'm going to use scissors to make it go faster. Sorry guys, that was outside. Background. Noise. Okay. And cut right where the crease is. Like so. Then you should have and have. Then fold in half like this. And the question of the day is, what is your favorite show? So uh, right now, um, or you, you can either do what is your favorite show or what is the show that you're currently watching. So I don't really have a favorite show. Like, I love YouTube. Like, I'm basically on YouTube all the time. But if we were go to go on, like, regular TV TV... I pretty much like Cake Boss. If you don't know what it is, it's like this Italian family that makes cakes for business and stuff. I won't ruin it because if you guys want to check it out, go ahead. It's called Cake Boss. And I also like um, Next Great Baker. That's by the same company or the same people that do Cake Boss. It's just that the, there's people competing to win the Next Great Baker. So... I won't ruin it for you guys, but if you guys want to go watch it, go ahead. It's not sponsored by this video, but it's just my favorite show that, are, that I like to watch. And I'm currently watching those. Um, I like to watch YouTube a lot too, and I think my favorite channel is... Uh, let's see. I don't know. I don't really have a favorite channel. Um, basically all the people that I'm subscribed to is my favorite channel. So, I don't really have one. And I'm not going to start anything, but, and please don't hate on me for my option, but I really like Daddy05 and Mommy05. They're really, really nice people. It's just that everyone makes mistakes. You make mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes. So, please don't hate on me for that. I know a lot of tough things is going, hap is happening with them. In the last couple of months, too. But I just like their channel. I like everything that they do. I love their kids. They're so cute. So, yeah. Oh, and I forgot to mention um, that I might, I may not, I don't look forward to this. I may get a second channel. I'm not positive. Um... But I would like to get a second channel pretty soon. So. I don't know. Maybe it's a surprise for you guys. I don't know if I'm going to be getting a second channel. I would love to. So then like on this channel would be like. Slimes and stuff. And then on my other channel. It will be like blog and stuff. And then. I don't know quite yet, but I may, I may not, I don't know. And comment down below if you guys want me to do a violin video, because I haven't done one in quite some time, and I have definitely improved a lot. Um, the last time I played was like, I don't know, almost a year ago, I think. I'm not really sure. And, uh, yeah, guys, so... I'll be right back when, um, I don't know. I'll probably just stay with you guys because, like, I'm almost done with this. So. Okay. And remember to make the X. So I'm going to make the X of all the papers, and I'll be right back, guys. Alright, guys, so I just finished making the Xs, and now I'm just going to repeat with the same thing. So fold top to bottom or left to right. Until it's in half. 
and crease. Then take the top right corner and pull it down until it meets the line and crease. I hope you guys understand what I mean, so I'm just taking it and creasing it down until it meets the line. And pull down and push in. And I'm not going to connect this quite yet. Ooh, and if you guys want to, I might take this one apart because, like, I might want to. So I'll be right back and I will get back to you guys in just a sec. Alrighty, guys, so if you want to know what I just did, I just took it apart and I just colored some random colors on there. And um, you don't have to do colors, but I chose to. And it looks really cool when it's colored. So, yeah, guys. Uh, and um, you want to color it before you put them together, but I was just not thinking, and I put them together without even realizing. So, yeah, and I'm just doing an alternating pattern. So, I'm doing orange, yellow, orange, yellow, orange, yellow. Until I'm all done with the pattern. Okay, now we're going to need an orange one. So we're just randomly scribbling on it. Because I think that looks really nice when I just randomly scribble on it. Because it's like a nice, delicate type of thing. And it looks really cool. Okay, My nose is really itchy, guys. I'm sorry. So, I'm just going to pause the video, and I think you guys got the hang of it if you're following. So, yeah. So, I'm just going to put this all together, and I'll come back to do the last two, because the last two are very hard to do. Alrighty, guys. So, I'm putting in the last two right now. The last one is really hard. The last, the second from last one is it like... Super duper hard, but it is on the harder side, so yeah, I'll just film it for you guys. Okay, now this one is yellow. It's okay, okay, so this one's yellow. And comment down below, Lava Lamp, if you tried this tutorial out, and maybe I will shut you out. I don't know. Comment down below, Lava Lamp, and that tells me that you tried this out. Even if you failed, even if you did do it, I don't care. You tried it, so just comment down below, Lava Lamp, and I will know that you guys did it. And I'm just cutting off extra right now because like there's a lot of extra. Okay. 
Now to do the last one, it's a little on the tricky side, but it's kind of easy. Just cutting off any extra. So to do the last one, you're just taking the open end and putting it over the closed end. Oh no. And make sure that you hold it because then it will climb. Okay. And push the uh Flaps on in there. And then hold. And then do the same to this side. And then the last flap you just tuck it on in. For some reason the orange ones remind me of traffic cones. So that is what you should look like. Or what it should look like. And just push it on all the sides and it should start transforming. If it is not, then you did something wrong. And just keep trying until you get something that kind of looks like this. So that is how you make an eight-pointed ninja star that transforms. And I have tons of these. I will show you all the ones that I made. I have four downstairs and like three upstairs. So I've made quite a bit. And I will show you them. So I think this is the best one that I have because it's like really nice and it's really crisp and there's no hole in the middle. Now, um, to know that yours is really done really nice, there should be no hole in the middle. Like there obviously will be a tiny, tiny hole, but you see how this one has a hole? That means that this one is not good. Oh, that was my cat. So just keep pushing and then eventually there will be no hole. So that therefore means that you've done it right. This one is just the regular one. I have not transformed this, and this is the one that I just showed you. So, now I'll be showing you how to transform this back into this. So just kind of pull on it, but don't pull on it vigorously. Or, you want to pull on it really nice and light, because like if you pull on it too, too much, then it may come out. And if any of your flaps come out, just tuck them right back in and it should stay in. And um, don't use tape. Lots of people use tape and it just ends really bad. For them, it does not work. It Don't use tape or glue or anything like that. Just use paper. So that's how you transform it back into this. So... Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. I'm so sorry that this is really long, but I definitely think that it's worth it because, like, look at how cool these are. So, that is how you make these transforming ninja stars, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Love you guys.